Hi, my name is Emily and I work here at PGACO as an online QuickBooks specialist. I am an advanced pro advisor and I hope that this video answers any of your questions or queries you may have. If it doesn't, however, there will be a link at the end of the video taking you to my Find an Accountant page. Here you'll find reviews from some of my current clients and you can get in touch with any questions or queries you may have. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for any future updates and new videos. Thank you very much. In this video I'm going to show you how to allocate a payment or refund for VAT after you have submitted it to HMRC. To start with we're going to navigate to the taxes tab on the left hand menu. You can see here that under the filed returns section I have an option to record payment. I'm going to click on this. At the top of the box that pops up, you need to make sure that the account is selected to the right account that the payment or the refund is going into. In this example, it is the current account. Please make sure the payment type is correct. If you've received a refund, select the refund option. The next box you're prompted to fill out is the payment date. And in this example, it's going to be the 12th of January. I'm then going to enter the payment amount. Payment amount for this example was £24.91. You can also add a memo in here if you want to as well. Once you're happy with that information, click Save. It then says your VAT payment has been submitted. So what we're going to do now is navigate to the banking section. Here you can see that on the 12th of the 1st, which was the date that we paid the VAT return, it is now coming up with one similar record found for VAT. If you're happy that that's correct, you can click match here. And then what that will do is if we go back into the taxes tab, you'll see that that filed return is now marked as paid.